together. Okay. Something mm -hmm. like that. Because this mid lane is going to be a nightmare. So you might as well... You might as well just put the hero there that was supposed to be off lane. So he's going to get screwed in. He, uh... Okay, Blink leveled up. And Ayo is going to be up here to steal the bounty rune. Mid ones are making his way over. So GH will get the bounty. He'll afford his bottle up with that, I believe. Yep, it's the bottle as well as the salve. And it's actually a mid necro. Liquid are just putting... Oh, they're going to fight this. MP. He, he hasn't worked out if he really wants to level up Rocket Barrage just yet. Yapsol's got the Barrage Strike. Now the Rocket Barrage makes sense. Should be some good damage. Instead, he's just holding it and just physically damaging him down. So GH will fall and Kuro is in no man's land. Just running up the mid. Yapsol will keep the chase going. Gyro, as well as Silencer, will gravitate towards the bottom lane to go against the Anti-Mage. Puts Pugner into the mid against this Io as well as Necro. Yapsol will try and help out. Burra Strike onto GH. Kuro thinking about helping, but he can't rolling ball to forward. In fact, it's going to be GH who will go down mid one's base attack. I'm sure you get the kills where you get like the, the charges later on. Uh, Yapsol. Barra Strike, Puppy gonna lend the curse, it's Kuro who is trying to take the farm, goes up the hill away from the Glaives, Miracle will rotate over, being pulled off the lane, that mat that uh, homing missile is on the way, Kuro very low, the Barra Strike from Yapsaw catching too, Puppy's got the distance, they're turning their attention towards the support, they don't want Miracle, GH has bottle charges available, one more swing from Miracle, will get the kill onto Puppy, GH now he has to, has to stay around and help Miracle get more than two kills, he wants MP as well, Kuro is back already, rolling boulder forward, connects on MP, they're gonna lose all three, is it to Miracle, one more attack, it's not enough, MP, now! That will be enough! A triple kill for Miracle on the safe lane! <laughs> That's what you like to have happen when you're animation to start. Triple kill minute two, Eta Gigea. <laughs> now Yapsol wants to keep fighting. He's got the arcane rune. Looks like Puppy's gonna get his plus two. Taking a time lock. He did go for the 102 build. So he's uh, trying his, t his luck with the Orb of Venom and PMS. Uh, Puppy, rolling boulder, able to dodge it. So Kuro. Goes up the hill, goes for a curse, turn around instead, Yapsaw attacking into GH and body block. We're about to see another plus up as Io zero for f Dude, Matumbaman is just wrecking this mid for CS. 22-11 to the 20 to the 12-3. Nothing is gonna stop this Necro. No, it's it's such a self-sustainable hero. Pugna's harass doesn't really matter. Let's just keep running at him and hitting him and then win the trade every time. It seems the moral of this team liquid mid time and time again. Uh, goodbye bottom lane. Miracle. Just locked in, controlled. Got missile and then cursed. And now, yeah, mid lane, mid one underneath the tower. The rolling boulder got Kuro in very close and one more punch will do the job. Yep, so no mana for a Burra Strike. He's here with Puppy, but they're both bone dry. They have nothing to fight with. And I think Team Liquid have cottoned onto this fact. The Observer Ward shows that no one else is there and the Scythe Putting Yapsaw down in the rolling boulder. Kuro once more. Attacking Puppy, pushing him back further. Mid one can... Okay, he doesn't have a bottle. He can't help. That's why Io is so scary. So scary if you get to play it like this. Enshrine. I suppose... He doesn't need it. He's self-sustaining enough as the Necro. Oh, there could be a scythe here. Boom. Go by mid one. He got solo there. That was actually... And Matumba's lead is extending. He is getting really, really far ahead. His net worth is 3.3k. The highest, closest to him, is MP. On the 2.2, he'll move over to try and take a fight. Puppy retreating back up to the shrine. But they want to keep fighting. Necro's moving down towards Yapsaw. The sentries and obs, double bar strike. Yapsaw has to get out of vision from Matumbaman. The rolling boulder. Kuro almost kills him off. The Orb of Venom is keeping Yapsaw slow at 13 HP. He's trying to stay away from every one of Liquid. Kuro will fall. Another plus two for Puppy. Not the case. <laughs> Why isn't he more ahead? Miracle playing with MP. Oh, Kuro. They found a target. Bar strike forward. Die. Hard. Oh no, no he's not. My control. Oh, there comes Wisp. Pivot, Part of the team pivot. for the team. The double kick into the into the Echo Slam. Puppy so low. Mind Control wants him and he'll take him as well. Ends a nice little spree. Kuro barely living through Kezu. Finally brought down by him. He did die. He did die. They got him. Yeah. But he was worth 317 gold in that silence. <laughs> a 50 move speed advantage. His hero is very fast and Echo is very slow, but... 
He's There's here for the CIO. corridor. He's here for the corridor. They'll start silencing him up. There's your corridor sphere. Mid one, you can just drain the life out of him. And GA tries to help out. Tethers forward. He's just giving the sustain. The kick flies through. Canceling a pod. The, the side takes out Faceless Void. And support has arrived in the form of MP. The IO has fallen. But Matumbaman, what the hell do you do against that? Even Miracle. Mana Void's down mid one. Yapsaw wishes to retreat, blinks off call and in one second time, Yapsaw, he's got seven stick charges, which may just be enough, but Miracle predicts the Burrow Striker, blinks in front of him, and gives Yapsaw a- Microphos is going, Veil vale into Dagon, very hard rolling ball. MP able to dodge it, still silenced up by Kuro, kick to follow up, Fizia locks him in, MP's got no way to get around that, he's trying to actually get out, but the shopkeeper, his body is blocking that exit. Kuro almost dies, but when he is able to control them, work with Kezu's Chronosphere, and don't smoke underneath the Radiant Observer Ward, which is exactly what those three heroes just did. Oh, well, I guess Miracle is leaving the lane and running away. Meanwhile, SK dies on top lane to the... ...on this Necro. No Blink Dagger to start with. He just wants the pure damage output, and they found Yapsaw. Chronosphere, however, finds Potomac, Global Silence, they're gonna try and drain out the Necro, he's the primary target, and they do bring him down. A huge kill for him. Everything. And then yeah. you blow him up. Io was not in range either to Tether, but they used the safety global just in case of the relocate. That's what they're gonna have to play around now. Top gyro. Oh, my control does too much. Yapsaw's gonna borrow a strike in to try and create space, but all he might end up doing is feeding his life to Team Liquid. As Yapsaw hide inside the Sandstorm, but can't hide forever. Mind Control does way too much damage. Fidgets off cooldown right now. So he jumps in front, goes for the block, rolling Boulder in from Kuro, and damn, Mind Control hits hard. A triple kill from him. Kezu will try and battle against it. A quick little stun. They're going to keep that damage going. So he cannot blink away. Here comes your kick from Kuro. Unable to make enough space. Mid one will take the kill on the unstoppable streak of Mind Control. And should be able to wrap it up with a death on Kuro. Dilated, so Tether was on cooldown forever and therefore he couldn't save him. He's gonna end up saving Kuro instead, and now, well, guess who's dying instead, man? Yeah, I, uh, I don't even know if that was worth it. I think maybe just leave Kuro there to die. If he could get out himself, that's probably better. But position I'm to surprised fight. they didn't global that. I really thought they were going to global that kill. Observer Ward. To. They have good vision here from Yapsaw. And Barra Strike in. There goes your global silence. GH. The call down is on the way. GH slowed down. But he still has the distance to go to fight. But the Echo Slam from Mind Control. Right on the money. Miracle will come in for the cleave damage as well. Epicenter from Yapsaw. Picks off the back line. So Mind Control does die. GH on insanely low life. The tethers in. Heals up. And has balls of steel to stand with me. Anti Mage got a couple kills there. That's almost going to be a Manta style for Miracle. And you're just you're looking at this game and you're wondering what Seeker can do. And I'm struggling to come up with answers apart from try to force a fight, hope for the best. That'll work. Uh, that helps. Mid one gets a pick. Here this time. Oh. Anti Mage can play very aggressively. That's the guy who has Aegis right there. <laughs> Fisher. Oh, come on. Come on, Miracle. <laughs> and there you go. Global Sars. Mid one's already gone. Puppy is running further to the north. Akuro rolling boulder forward with GH there. My control is just sitting and watching. This is uh, Kill Voyeur. His control is waiting for the perfect dunk time. 15 seconds. That creep wave will come up. Kezu. Also considering the moment, they're pinging Matumbaman. They know they can kill him off because he doesn't have the Aegis the Immortal. So here goes your Chrono. On to two. Mind Control. Create space with a Fissure so they cannot reach him and the Relocate. Are moving out. The Epicenter is nice, but is it enough damage? No! And Mind Control gets another huge AoE stun. The Scythe puts Void into the grave. And Matumbaman stands its ground. Maybe not forever. Miracle goes in, has the Aegis Immortal burn. Nether Ward burning a little bit of the mana, but then again, they have just so much available. Mana Void still not even used by Miracle. They'll take the mid racks. Kick not hitting onto MP. But they can rotate towards the top lane if their heart does desire. And well, yeah. It's a hard kill, man. Oh, well, yeah, so it's gonna have to try it. Sit in the trees. No Aegis Immortal, Echo Slam straight away, right on top of mid one, dead instantly, sounds of the forward, the Chronosphere holding Mind Control, holding Anti-Mage. The buybacks are in, Pugna wants to fight, they bring down at least the Earthshaker, but Tubberman on the run, he's got a couple of one charges, gonna commit them now, a miracle, back into the fight. GH is here as well, Regeneration Rune can trigger in just a second, and this will bring him and Matubberman both back up, they cannot fight through that regeneration. Islands is negated. Kuro is on a mission here. Uh, Alright, mission from out. God. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good distraction. Uh, melee Arax is slowly going down to Miracle. He'll blink out. He's like, hey guys, like, yeah, yeah, this isn't a pop. You are meant to attack that homing missile when it comes towards me. But the Fissure onto MP. Oh boy! <laughs> oh! I think they tried to decrepify to save him from the ES. It ended up just being better for the day gone. Void's gone. Gyro's gone. Everyone's gone. Is a rug clear in sale. Everything must go. Team Secret. They won't be able to hold the line, and Liquid will win the series. 2-0, securing themselves the number one position in four the TI7 four, group. Four out of four. Good day at the office for Team.